Hey everyone, this is Brad from DevOps Journey, and in this video we are going to go over Docker Swarm. So Docker Swarm is the built-in orchestrator for Docker. And basically what an orchestrator is, is a way for you to manage your containers over multiple servers. So if you've been watching my course, we've installed Docker, we started containers, we've used Docker files, we've used Docker Swarm, but everything has been on a single server or a single node. Now, if we wanted to scale up and have multiple servers, multiple nodes, we would need an orchestrator. Now, there's a couple of orchestrators you can use. Uh, the most popular one is probably Kubernetes right now, and I'll have future videos in regards to that. But Docker Swarm is something that everyone should learn just to get an idea of how an orchestrator works. We can learn it here. Uh, this video is not going to be any longer than 15 minutes, I hope, and you're going to have a great idea of how you can build an orchestrator, get your containers over multiple different servers here. So let's go ahead and get started. I think the best way to learn this is to just hop into the command line and get it installed, get it up and running. So let's... All right, so I'm in the command line here. We have Docker installed on node one already. So the next thing I want to do is to initiate the swarm. Docker swarm is built in with the Docker service. So I just need to hit in one command here and we'll get started. So you can see the command I have is docker swarm init. So let's go ahead and hit enter. We got a little bit of output here. We see an error and we're seeing that it's permission denied. So to get past that, let's just do sudo. I guess I lost my alias. And we're seeing a different error this time and now it's saying that we need to choose an IP address that we want to use since this server has multiple IP addresses so if your environment only has one IP address the docker swarm init would work for you but mine has multiple IP addresses so it just wants to know which one to use so I'm gonna choose this 192 address so I'm gonna rerun this command I'm gonna add this here the advertise adder and I'm gonna copy and paste this IP address. If you're following along using the Vagrant file that I have for these labs, which is in the description below, then I advise to do the same. But this should give us different output now. Okay, we can see that the swarm is initialized on this node. And we can add new workers. And this is the command to add new worker nodes. So it's the docker swarm join command and then it gives us a token. This token will be unique for everyone's lab. <clears throat> so don't type out what you have here because that's only for my lab. So I'm gonna actually copy this and I'm gonna hop into my other shell here and I have node 2 up. I'm not sure if I have docker installed on this one so let's have a look. Just do sudo docker. Docker command is not found, so I'm going to do sudo app get install docker.io to install docker. And I will go yes, and I will let this install. All right, so it looks like docker is installed here. Uh, if you're following along, uh, you may need to do a sudo apt get update just to make sure your apt repository is up to date before doing that. All right, so it looks like the install is complete. If uh, you're following along here and the docker did not install, you might need to run the command uh, apt get update just to update your apt cache. So make sure to do that. Um, the next thing we're going to do here is clear the screen. And I'm going to rerun that docker swarm join command and give it the token. And that should work. And it doesn't like it because permissions denied, so I'm going to add sudo. It looks like this one, I never put in aliases for node node 2, so I gotta do uh, sudo. Alright, so it froze up there for about 10 seconds or so, and then it did uh, this node join the swarm as a worker. Perfect, so we now have a two node swarm, so let's go ahead and have a look at the docker swarm command. So, first of all, I'm gonna add an alias here, which is sudo docker alias docker equals sudo docker 
That's just so I don't have to type sudo every time. And now when I do docker swarm, it's going to give me a list of commands. And you can see the list of commands here. So we already did init to initialize the swarm. We did join on the worker node, node 2, to join the swarm. Now uh, we have the options, the other options here. We could leave the swarm if we wanted to. Uh, we could update the swarm. So that's it for the docker swarm commands, but there's also docker node commands. So let's have a look at docker node commands. So we'll do docker node. So most of these commands are pretty self-explanatory. Like we have this demote command where you could demote a manager node to a worker node. We have inspect, so that's sort of similar to the docker inspect command we used before. It's going to give you lots of details. We got ls to list nodes in the swarm. You can promote, you can ps to see which containers the node is running. You can remove a node from the swarm. So pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and jump into a few of them. So we'll do docker node ls. And we can see that this command will not run when you're on a worker node. So we will come back and do this one on node 1, which is our manager node. So to do that is very simple. Just do a docker service scale, and then let's give the name, which was ping docker. That's the name of our service. And uh, we'll go equal, and let's bring this up to five containers. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, and it's preparing, it looks like it's two of them are running so let's just give this a few seconds to complete and then we'll do our ls commands alright so um, that took 30 seconds or so and it looks like our services are converged let's uh, run a couple ls commands to see what's happening so we'll do a docker service ls we can see that our ping docker service is running we got five replicas if we do uh, docker node ps, we can see, hey, there's two containers running on here. So it looks like two of the five containers are running on node one. All right, and if we wanted to see the services running on the second node, we don't need to jump on to the second node. We can just do, we can just do a docker node ps node two. And you can see, hey, the three other services are running there, right? And you could have one node, two node, three nodes, four nodes. Basically, you just do it from the manager. Node one's the manager. So I do a docker node ps and give the node name. So node one, two services. Node two, three services. And if I hopped over to node two, I can't actually use the docker node commands, but I can just do a docker ps and I can see there's three containers there running. So that's about it for Docker Swarm. I think that's all you really need to know to get, get into it and start building your own services. If there's any questions, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed this course. And my next course is gonna be on Kubernetes, which I feel like is the best orchestrator for containers right now. It'll be very similar to how, how this course was, but we'll really get into how we can orchestrate these containers and get advanced microservices created. So please join me for that. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this course and thanks so much for watching.